In the previous video, we learned how to unwrap our box using automatic mapping and then manually stitching parts of the UVs back together in order to build UV layouts that we're happy with. I will show you, however, that this is not the only way of doing this. You will have to do some UV layout manually, but Maya has provided a couple of extra tools over the last few versions that will make UV layout just a little bit easier for you. So the first thing I'm gonna do just to show you this tool is I'm gonna mess up these UVs I just made. I'm going to select all of my edges and I'm just going to hit sew. And so now it's all one piece, right? There is no cuts in this at all. Um, and our UV results are terrible, but I kind of wanted it this way. I wanted to be able to manually go in here and place the cuts wherever I wanted to. So selecting all the edges and hitting sew will do that. Another way to do that is to position our camera at any angle we want to, and then go on object mode, go to UV, and then do camera-based projection. And you'll see that it lays out our UVs from the angle of this camera, but all of the edges are still connected together, and that's the most important part about this, because this next technique requires us to go in and make the cuts that we want. So, so think of this in the same way as how I unfolded that candy box or that coffee box in the presentation earlier. If you were needing to unfold this box, how would you cut it with a pair of scissors to be able to lay this out flat? So we're going to do that with our edges. So I definitely want to cut all of the inside of the box out from the outside of the box. So I will go around here and select all of the edges that build up the perimeter of the outside of the box. I'm gonna turn off the checkerboard so you can see it a little bit better. So once that I have all of those edges selected, I can go into here and just hit cut. And so now you'll notice in our UV editor, that line got thicker. That's how the UV editor lets you know that there's a cut in the UVs there. If I go to UV shell, you'll see that I have this exterior shell now and the interior shell. So I've separated those pieces. This is nice because now I can separate each of these into their own island. So if I go to edge and cut here and here, here and here, that's going to cut this box into a flat piece. I also know just from experience that some of these little bitty edges along the lip of the tabs may cause us some issues as well. So I'm gonna go around and make sure that I've selected all of those as well. Kind of move this out of the way. So I've gotten that one and that one, that one. And these are a little bit more difficult to select. And I'm having some difficulty selecting these little edges here, so I'm gonna to try to do that in the UV editor. Uh, they seem to be kind of covered up. So let's just go ahead and try cutting where we have right now. Maybe that one. And oh, th this will work for now. So I have that selected, we'll hit cut. And so we should be able to see now, we have most of the edges we need to have cut. Maybe go ahead and try to select that one from in here. Um, yeah, I don't see that one, so we'll hit cut. Okay, we also need to cut the exterior of our box. And so I'm going to kind of decide where I want the front of my box to be. So it's over here, so I do kind of want to hide this seam a little bit. I'll probably be looking f at the scene, I'll probably be looking at this shot from a camera angle similar to this, so I'll go to an angle that I'm not really going to see as much, maybe this one, and cut it there, and I'll also, in here, cut it here, here, and here. And that'll allow us to cut this entire thing open the way we would a real box. 
Okay, now we've done all of that. I wanna do one or two more things. If I go back to object mode, you'll notice all of these inputs that were created by us cutting those seams. Um, so just to clean that up a little bit, I wanna do edit, delete by type, history. And so now Maya is not going to worry about that stuff as much and it won't slow the computer down. So the tool we're going to use is actually under modify and it's this unfold option. So if I select all of my UVs in the scene and go to modify unfold and choose my options box, I want to make sure that Unfold 3D is checked. Now you may not see Unfold 3D. If you don't, you have to go to Windows and turn on that plugin. So Settings and Preferences, Plugin Manager, and we'll just want to look up Unfold 3D and make sure that it's turned on. And then you would may have, if you have to do that, you may have to close this window down and go back to Modify Unfold Options again to see it. But really, just as long as Unfold 3D is turned on, we're pretty much ready to go. And so what I'm gonna hit is Apply and Close. And you're gonna see that Maya unfolds this for us. Now, it didn't do exactly what we wanted. Um, this UV shell turned out pretty good, and this is the exterior of our box, so that's important. You'll notice that there's something still sort of stuck together here. So I'll zoom in here and go to edge and find the edge that is still stuck together and cut that one. So that was just something I overlooked. And then I go back to UVs, select them all again and modify unfold. Since I know that unfold is checked on, I could probably just hit unfold. And so now we get this. Now it's looking much closer, but you'll see that there's a couple of things that are kind of causing it to warp just a little bit. And I think those are those little bitty tiny edges I was having trouble uh, selecting earlier. So I'll select that one. That one's already cut. That one's okay. So I need to make sure we cut that one first. And I need to make sure that whatever's happening here makes sense. So let me select this edge and hit F and sort of focus in and see what this is. So we have that edge, that edge, and that edge. So I think we're okay there. Just to be safe, let's, let's try to go ahead and unwrap it one more time. Modify unfold. So we're getting much closer. Just to be, um, the easiest way to handle this is probably just to go ahead and cut off this section so it doesn't really interfere anymore. And so again, select all of these UVs, modify, unfold. We're getting much closer now. Um, still feel like there's something that's causing this to Stretch weird, must be right here. Yeah, it's a little bitty edge there. So I'm just gonna cut that piece off as well. And then again, UVs, select them all. Modify, unfold. So we're getting much closer. Um, I'd say one of the ways we can make this much more perfect is just to cut off all of these little lips that we have here. Because the UV unwrap is trying to account for those and really we don't necessarily need those to have too much detail. So we could cut all of that stuff off and then one more time, UVs modify, unfold. Um, let's go ahead and delete history on this one more time as well. Modify, unfold, there we go. 
And so it's looking a little bit better now. Now the inside of my box is tapered just a little bit. And that just is because of how I modeled the box. Um, so the fact that it's the fact that it's kind of angled in a little bit doesn't really bother me that much. What I can do is grab all these little pieces that I was having issues with, sort of put all of this together in one area. And I'm trying to not let any of them overlap. And then I'll scale this down just a little bit and move it up here in this top corner. Something like this. And then this piece, I want to make sure it's kind of straight. So I want to line it up. I could eyeball that if I wanted to with the grid, just to kind of line it up with the grid, move it over here. And again, I don't want them to overlap. I want to scale this down to where it has all of its own UV space here. And I may move that up just a little bit more to give it a little bit more room. So this is probably the one I'm going to work off of. It's important to recognize what is what. Just by looking at this, I recognize that all of this stuff up in the top is the inside of the box. All of this in the bottom is the outside of the box. And specifically, this face is the front of the box. So I just need to memorize that because we're going to use this again in the next few videos.